Transgender woman is in the hospital after being shot in the face. It happened overnight in Walnut Hills. As Local 12's Curtis Jackson reports, it's raising fears within the transgender community. A life on the street nearly comes to a tragic end. A black transgender woman is shot in the face on Lincoln Avenue in Walnut Hills. No witnesses, no vehicle, no arrest. And she's been a target before. This isn't the first time this has happened to her or the first time this has happened to a transgender woman of color in Cincinnati. It's the latest example of the growing danger for the most vulnerable members of the transgender community. Faced with poverty, unemployment, and homelessness, many trans women of color are driven to prostitution, which exposes them to violence. It's been nearly a year since Tiffany Edwards was murdered in Walnut Hills. In fact, trans women of color are twice as likely to face violence or discrimination as their white counterparts. Was this a hate crime? You know, it's hard to describe it as something other than that until we really know the motivation of, of the suspect at this point. But my sense is absolutely. Galvanized by the death of local teenager Leela Alcorn late last year, Deaton says the transgender community at large is finding its voice. But trans women of color remain in the shadows, where their safety and their very lives are at risk. It's not safe. It's not safe to come out. It's not safe to be visible. It's not safe to be heard. That's why you're seeing my face and not a transgender woman of color. The victim has not been identified, but she is expected to survive. Local churches are raising money to help her and her family. Rob? Curtis, thanks very much. The shooting was less than a block from where someone shot and killed a 17-year-old Purcell Marion student, Kelsey Crow, her name, earlier this month.